playing with some toys this morning. Got this cool bird. See how that floats on my finger like that? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, Joy. I am playing with some toys this morning. Wow. Yep. Yep. Look at, look at all these cool toys you've got. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Do you have a Buzz Lightyear? Yep. I got a Buzz Lightyear. I've got this Barbie in here, and she is going to take a ride back and put Buzz in here with her. Oh, oh, you have another Buzz Lightyear. Yep, that's mine too. That's mine. Oh, okay. That's mine. Oh, well, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. And he, he's going to have a ride too. I'm going to have him in here. Oh, okay. Oh, we have another car though. Oh, Buzz Yep, that's mine. Oh, wow. that's mine. Oh. This is my Barbie doll I got. Hey, that's a cool Barbie. Can I, can I see? Can I fly? Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay, great. Oh, I got this really cute teddy bear. So That's my cute. teddy bear. That's mine. Wow. Oh, I got this really fun ball. Woohoo! I love that color yellow ball. Can I, can I have a turn? Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, you got a really big ball, too. Yep, yeah, that's mine. Star. Hmm. Um... Every time I pick up a toy, you grab it away from me. You're not being very kind. You really should be sharing with me. You're right, Miss Joy. I'm not being very kind. I'm not sharing what I, what I have. And that is about what we're talking about today for our lesson. Yeah. Um, talking about being kind. God wants us to be kind. Jesus was kind. We have so many stories in the Bible about Jesus being kind. Him he, healing people. Mm -hmm. Um Last week we talked about Zacchaeus. He wasn't a very nice guy, but Jesus, you know, went and he spent time with him. And our verse is from Ephesians. You know where Ephesians is, Miss Joy? Uh, it's in the New Testament. It's in the New Testament. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. It says, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other. So to be kind... You know, I wasn't being real kind to Miss Joy not sharing what I had. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but she was nice and she shared her toys with me. And, you know, our mom used to tell us a little story. It was kind of a fun story. And that it, it was about toys. And that's what gave me the idea for our, our lesson today. Um, in our story, uh, there are a couple kids and they're playing and they're having a good time. And their mom calls them to go run an errand. Well, while they had been in the toy room playing, they had cool cookies. Cookies, oh. Miss Joy. Mm -hmm. And so they, when they left, the little teddy bear, oh, he liked cookies, so he got some of those cookies and he was eating them. And he was having such a good time eating the cookies, yummy, yummy. And the little tiger, can I have some? No. <gasps> Teddy bear wouldn't share. Look, Bo, this is my dog Bo. He needs a haircut. <laughs> he won he probably wants some cookies too, but he can't have them. He really can't. They'd make him sick. Right. But the little teddy bear wouldn't share the cookies, and the poor little tiger wanted some cookies. And the little doll said, Oh, we should what? Be kind to one another. And you know what? The teddy bear did share. He yeah. shared his cookies with the other toys. Now that's just a made up story. It's kind of fun, but it reminds us that God does want us to be kind. He wants us to share everything we have, even when it's hard and it is hard sometimes. Yep. And you know, so this week I had a challenge for you. Ooh, a challenge. All of us. I have a challenge. What is this number? And they know what that number is? Five. Five. Next week, starting on Monday, I am going to challenge you to do five acts of kindness, five kind things. I'm sure you're kind most of the time, but something extra. Um, Miss Joy, what's an idea you can think of? Um, let me think. Oh, if I challenged you to try to jump up and hit the ceiling five times, that was a W a challenge. That's a challenge. So my do it. Yeah, my challenge is for you guys to do something kind 
an extra act of kindness every day and something that what's a what's something that you could do that's a that's kind um oh i know what if your mom was busy in the kitchen fixing dinner you could walk in and say hi mom can i set the table for you Right. Like, you know, put the plates on and the silverware on the table. Mm -hmm. Or if your dad is out washing the car, you could go out and say, Hey, Dad, can I help you wash the car? Yep. That would be nice to do. Yep. Um, you could also, depending on where you are, or if you're going, leaving the house or you're going somewhere, you could open the door and hold it for someone. That's sure. a nice thing to do. Mm -hmm. You could, um, you could... A, you could also, I mean, some, lately we haven't been able to see a lot of the people we're used to seeing. You could call them, like your grandparents. Oh, that's a great idea. Um, you could call or your aunts or your uncles or friends, anybody. You could call them, make a phone call and just tell them you're thinking about them. Yeah. So, or you could even um, write a note or something like that. So yeah. let's remember our verse, okay? Ephesians 4.32 be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other. So, like Miss Joy, she was nice and she shared her toys and she forgave me yep. for not for not sharing with her. So, if you would like to, you could send a video uh, talking about <coughs> kindness or anything, or you could send me a note. Maybe just Miss Joy and I would love to get a note from you saying, you know, maybe what your acts of kindness were. Yeah. All right. So, I don't know. We're going to have, I think, a flannel graph story next week. <coughs> you don't know what that is. You'll be surprised. All yeah. right. So, remember, be kind, and we will see you guys next week. Yeah. Bye. Love you. Love you.